Hi guys, today we are going to determine the slope of a curve and know the actual meaning of it through a simple yet very interesting demonstration. So let us start. Suppose we have been given a function y is equal to x square and you have been asked to determine the slope of it. Obviously, it is not a straight line as every one of you can guess because it's a quadratic equation. So you cannot simply apply the formula y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 and get the slope of it, right? Because we have seen the same concept in very much greater depth in our earlier video. Let us try to revise the concepts. Slope is equal to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. The same could be written as y2 minus y1 is the difference between y coordinates. I can write it as delta y. Delta represents the actual difference between the y coordinates. x2 minus x1 represents the difference between x coordinates. Now for small differences, I can also denote it by dy by dx. As in the earlier video, we have already seen it, right? Now, if I have been provided a curve which is y is equal to x square can be drawn as follows. This is the curve which represents y is equal to x square. Now, what I might try to do is apply the first principle of derivatives which could be written as y2 is f of x plus h minus y1 is f of x wherein x2 was x plus h and x1 was x but when we see the difference x gets cancelled and h is very very small i will have to write down limit h tends to 0 and the function of x plus h minus function of x upon h is your first principle of derivatives now let us go through the function once again y is equal to x square actually means f of x is equal to x square obviously we need x plus h value so we will write down f of x plus h is equal to as you can already guess it would be x plus h the whole square let me substitute these values over here i can write down it as x plus h the whole square which is f of x plus h minus fx which is nothing but x square can be written as this upon h but as h is very very small i will have to write down the limit which is h tends to 0 let us try and solve this simple limit it could be written as limit h tends to 0 this could be expanded as x square plus 2hx plus h square minus x square upon h. As you can see, x square got cancelled and what remains is this. Limit h tends to 0, 2hx plus h square upon h. Right? Now, observe carefully h gets cancelled. And what remains is 2x plus h. As we all know, as h tends to 0 and it is very small, when I substitute the value of h, it will almost be equal to 0. So you get the value of slope as 2x. Now you must all be wondering that how come slope is 2x? What you know about slope is it is the tangent of the angle, means tan theta. Let us practically demonstrate derivatives using the graph. Here we are drawing a parabola. But what is a parabola? A parabola is a function for which y is equal to x square. See, we have almost drawn the parabola. Hi guys, we are back to see the practical demonstration of derivatives. As we all know that slope 
for a function y is equal to fx can be given by dy by dx that is difference in y upon difference in x. We also know that for a parabola y is equal to x square the slope or the derivative that we have calculated is 2x. From our basic understanding we also know that slope can be written as tan theta. So, in all we can say that if slope is equal to 2x and slope is also equal to tan theta we need to prove that 2x has to be equal to tan theta. That means tan theta and 2x has to be always equal for this given parabola. So, our LHS will be tan theta and RHS will be 2x. We need to prove this. So, we will take points one by one and draw the tangents. As we all know that this curve which we have drawn is y is equal to x square which is also called as parabola. Let me draw a tangent at x is equal to 0 0.5. What is the RHS? Yes, it is 2x. So, x over here is 0.5. So, RHS will come out to be 1. Now, for the LHS part, we have tan theta. Let me call that theta 1. Now, at the point x is equal to 0 0.5, we need to draw a tangent. Let me mark the point 0.5 on the parabola. I mean x is equal to 0.5 on the parabola. Here it is x is equal to 0.5. Now, we will try and draw a tangent on that particular point for that particular parabola which we have drawn. So, here goes the tangent. Have a closer look. The tangent is made. Now, this particular tangent at x is equal to 0 0.5 will make some angle with the positive direction of x axis. Let us measure that angle and call that as theta 1. As you can see, it is exactly equal to 45 degrees. So, I can substitute in the LHS theta 1 as 45 degrees. So, LHS will turn out to be tan of 45 degrees, which is nothing but 1. See, we have actually proved LHS is equal to RHS that is 2x is equal to tan theta. In this case, theta 1. Now, for different different values of x, there should be different value of tan theta. So, let me mark another point. Here it is second point which is x is equal to 0 0.86 and let us try and draw a tangent over that point. Watch closely we are drawing the tangent here the tangent is drawn. This tangent will also make some angle with the positive direction of x axis. Let us measure that as you can see it is exactly 60 degrees. So, for the second point we have x is equal to 0 0.86 on which we have drawn the tangent. The RHS will be 2x which is 2 into 0 0.86 which will be 1. 0.72. Let me write down 1.72. Now, for the LHS part, let me call that tan theta 2. Here, theta 2 is 60 degrees. Let me substitute that. So, let me write down the 45 degrees also. So, it will be theta 2 equal to 60 degrees. So, LHS turns out to be tan of 60 degrees which is root 3 which can be approximated as 1.72.
so here we have proved lhs is equal to rhs again so for different different values of x there will be different different values of tan theta